Hello and welcome back to War Thunder Tutorials. In this episode we will continue our review of the most common mistakes made when playing different classes of vehicles, but this time we're moving from the ground into the skies. How not to lose playing a tech aircraft. As their name implies, ground attack aircraft are best used against targets on the surface. This is where they can turn the tide of the entire battle, whilst employing their powerful bombs and rockets. But it's easier said than done. Aside from the usual enemy fighters, attack aircraft will have to deal with the triple A's, not to mention that ground armor will not sit idly by waiting to get slaughtered from above. Rule number one, play it safe. Any ground pounder is a high priority target in a mixed battle. Attack aircraft are usually slow and not very maneuverable. If you think that for this reason alone the enemy will ignore you, nothing can be further from truth to be honest. An incoming attack plane can be heard from a long distance and usually seen better visually due to its size, even with markers disabled. So you're almost guaranteed to become a target for at least a couple of gun barrels. Before bombing a ground target, try and assess the situation in the sky. When you know that you're not threatened by fighters, try and sneak into the enemy side of the map from the flank. The element of surprise can be a huge benefit, even if you see no enemy tailing you after your attack. You should be careful when going for another pass. Rule number two, don't be a hero. Some players, even when knowing about the danger ahead, will still risk it, hoping for the best. More often, this ends in an untimely demise for that hero. Even if you manage to down one enemy, this will be a foolish enterprise. You won't help your team win if you're dead in return for just one downed enemy. If you realize that the skies above the battlefield are swarming with enemy fighters, stay back and wait. Be patient until your team brings a AAA vehicle or some sort of fighters of its own. Don't attack without cover from air or ground. While you wait for the support, you can safely climb high above the battle or wait it out on the airfield. Rule number three, know your tools. Yeah, I know. We keep saying this from one video to another, at least in some form, but if you want to earn more research points in silver, you absolutely need to know your vehicle and its weaponry. How do you fire a certain type of rocket? How do you drop bombs accurately from a certain plane? What aircraft tends to fall into a dive easily? Do you know that German ground attack rockets explode at 600 meters, even if they miss their targets? But rockets of other nations don't? While US rockets, even if they hit a target, might deal no damage at all. All these details cannot be featured in a single video, nor you will remember them from a single try. Don't be lazy, get to know which vehicle model you like in detail before you venture out to fight other players. Study your chosen vehicle carefully, otherwise any vehicle might seem weak, ungainly and useless. Rule number four, know your maps. Understanding the terrain is paramount for any ground attacker, more so to than any other type of pilot. What is best approach to enemy ground target? What is the best way to escape following a straight run without exposing yourself to enemy fire? How can you use the map's terrain to its fullest extent? Obviously, answers to all these questions will inevitably come with experience. But it is always best to get that experience faster, right? Try and pick a day when you have a few extra hours and try out different maps on your own in a custom battle. If you invest some time like this, you are bound to reap the benefits later. Well, as you can see, there are not as many pitfalls with attack aircraft. No hidden magic, but logic. It is usually the most common and silly mistakes that get you shot down. Let's try and imagine a perfect combat sortie on a ground pattern. Okay, the map is Eastern Europe. Realistic battles. We start the battle in a tank, get through three kills, and then suffer the same fate. Now it is time to take it to the skies. Let's go with Il-2 Model 1942. We have four rockets and four bombs with 100 kilos each. From our previous tank experience, we know the general location of the enemy ground forces on the map, so we begin our approach from the best possible side. Don't forget to check the skies. Good, it's clear, at least for now. Now we move to outflank the enemy, while staying alert to our surroundings. Approach at low altitude and at moderate speed, the Il-2 does not like to die fast. Soon we spot a couple of enemy tanks on the main road. Use your rockets first. Bang! Both enemy tanks are gone. Whoops! We're getting shot from behind by the enemy AAA. Dive down to the hedge top altitude and avoid the enemy fire. We still have our bombs, but the enemy just brought its fighters to bear. In order not to engage in battle we can't win, let's retreat away from combat. Look, a few of our tankers were taken out and now enter combat in their own triple A's. While the enemy fighters are busy with the new threat, now would be a good time for a second pass. We just spotted a careless enemy AAA, two bombs away and that thing is history. Shortly after, a couple of enemy tanks bunched together on an air road. Last two bombs away and targets are destroyed. Time to go back for a reload. 
But looks like this will have to wait. Our team just won. This is it for today. We're Thunder Tutorials, signing out.